Hey there, and welcome to another Health Essentials Podcast. I'm John Horton, your host. There's a small village in China where women traditionally grow their hair until it's more than six feet long. So what's the secret for these real-life Rapunzels? The answer seems to be rice water. It's said the starchy liquid created when rice is soaked or cooked works as a hair elixir to give you stronger and longer locks. Centuries of beauty parlor chatter back up this claim, too. But is it true? We asked dermatologist Alok Vij to join us today to comb through what's fact or fiction regarding rice water and your hair. Dr. Vij is one of the many experts at Cleveland Clinic who pop into our weekly podcast to help us make sense of health trends. So with that in mind, let's see whether that box of rice in your kitchen should become part of your day-to-day hair care routine. Welcome to the podcast, Dr. Vij. Uh, Thanks for coming in to talk shop. Thanks for having me back. So last year on the podcast, uh, we talked about using rosemary oil for hair growth. And uh, you know now we're looking at rice water. Um, I'm starting to think that hair needs to be fed rather than just washed. People say the health of your hair reflects your overall health. So why not put a little work into making it as look as good as you feel? Well, and, and it makes sense. And everyone, I mean, your hair is, is so important for people. And, and obviously people spend a lot of time uh, making it look just right. So... Um, so, so let's dive into how rice water might be able to help that. Um, and I, I guess we should just start in the obvious place. Um, can rice water help you grow longer, stronger, and healthier hair? Well, John, I have my ba- my doubts, to be completely okay. honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, rice water may reduce the amount of hair breakage that you get by acting as a moisturizer or a conditioner for your hair. But most people's hair growth is genetically coded with some modifiable modifiable factors like nutrition, age, overall health. Hair care practices are usually a very minor component in how long your hair grows. Wow. Now, now I know like, anecdotally, and, and, and which a lot of these sort of, uh, it seems like quick fixes um, are all anecdotal. Um, it seems like people swear by this. And uh, you know, my favorite thing was that, that village in, in China where apparently that's what they use and everybody's got like six foot hair. I think they're, they're in the Guinness book of world records for like the longest haired village. Um, is this just a, a neat story then? So that community in China is really interesting, um, but it probably has something going on called the founder effect. So the founder effect is a genetic principle where a group of individuals starts a community with one specific characteristic in this case, super long hair. As that community grows, that group of individuals' progeny keeps that characteristic going. So everyone in that community is going to have long hair because it's in their genes. It's probably not the rice water. It still it makes a great story, though. That's so <laughs> so the, the next question that came up, and I saw this a lot, where there's a rumor that rice water can also help fight gray hair, which is a question that I am deeply interested in, as you can tell. Um, so... Any truth to that, or is this another more fable? Listen, John, my gray hairs are quickly catching up to yours as my kids (laughs) get older and older. Uh, Truthfully, we don't know why hairs turn gray. We think there's some component of oxidative stress in the hair follicle that makes the hair turn from pigmented to gray. Uh, It definitely seems like it's an inside-out problem, and an outside-in solution like rice water is not going to be helpful. Okay, well, the stress makes sense because I've got three kids. And let me tell you, before I had them, this was dark. So <laughs> it, it definitely changed uh, Changed later. Going back to rice water, like why do people think that it works magic? Um, you know, it seems like you hear a lot of talk about minerals and antioxidants and things like that. Or is there anything to that? Yeah, so there are definitely a lot of different components and different minerals Uh, ingredients that make up rice water. Um, The primary component is going to be starch. The starch from the rice bleeds out into the water, uh, and you can use that as a nice conditioner for the hair. So that starch is going to lay on the outer follicle, uh, what's called the cuticle, and it's going to prevent the follicles from irritating or rubbing against each other, fraying and breaking. So the starch is a really important first ingredient. There are other ingredients, particularly one called an antioxidant uh, called inositol, which may play a role also. So this was an ingredient that was studied by a group in Japan who makes cosmetic products. 
And they suggested that inositol may be a strengthening agent for hair. Um, it's important to remember that the hair that you see on the surface is actually just protein and keratin. It's not actively growing. It's not active cells. All of the true cells, the growth of your hair comes from beneath the skin under your scalp. So all of these other products like shampoos, conditioners, rice water are only going to help the texture on the surface, but not necessarily have that much of an impact on the growth of your hair. What about, I mean, you hear all the minerals and vitamins that are in rice water too that get brought up. Uh, I think vitamin B, vitamin E, uh, fiber, magnesium, manganese, zinc. Um, is this just kind of a, people throwing together an alphabet soup of all the <laughs> nutrients they can find to make it sound like it does something? Or is there any sort of connection to those things and your hair health? There may be some connection, but it's really hard to prove. Uh, the vitamins and minerals in rice water may play a role in helping to stabilize some of the disulfide bonds in hair. Those bonds help to keep your hair having its natural curl pattern. So stress from heat, chemical processes can break those bonds and change the texture of your hair. The rice water may protect against those stresses. Yeah, you know, it sounds like from everything you're saying, there's a lot of, it could, it may, it, it, it seems like there's these sort of a little bit of truth to everything, but it's hard to pinpoint that, yes, it it, it accomplishes this. Yeah, the, there's not a lot of great evidence that rice water is that beneficial for hair, although anecdotal evidence is great. And I, as I always tell my patients, if it works for you, then I can't argue against that. Well, building on that then, if somebody is interested in, uh, in trying rice water for their hair, um, how would they go about doing it? So it all starts with rice. And water, as the name would suggest. Yeah, it's, it's a very it's simple ingredients, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so the first and easiest method is what's called the short soak method. So in uh, my house, when we cook rice, we soak the rice for about 30 minutes before we cook it. That helps to soften the grain to make for a fluffier bowl of rice, or so my mom would say. Um, take the water instead of discarding it, take it and collect it and use it after the shower. The alternative would be to boil the rice with about twice as much water as you normally would, and then drain off the excess water and keep that starchy cooking water for the use, for use after the shower. And, and you use it after the shower. So you would kind of go through your normal kind of bathing routine, shampoo, soap, whatever. But then afterwards, you would kind of just, I guess, dump this rice water mixture um, on your hair. You got it. Once you've shampooed, you, you douse your hair in the rice water and let it soak for about 20 minutes before you rinse it out. Is there anything as far as, like you had mentioned, the soaking uh, versus boiling, um, where it's like you might lose nutrients if you kind of have that hot water bubbling? You know, there is possibly some truth to that, but it's hard to really say that there's any active ingredient in the rice water that's going to make a huge difference in your hair. So I don't know one way or another if there's a, a better or a worse. I did read about people who ferment their rice water for on the counter for a few days before they use it. Uh, that might make your hair smell a little bit. So just make sure you rinse thoroughly. Yeah, I would think there'd be a little bit of a bacteria uh, issue going on there too. Definitely. And bacteria living on the scalp can cause inflammation, which can reduce your hair growth, leading to the out opposite of the outcome you want. Well, yeah, that's not what we're looking for here. So, um, and I was going to ask if there were any negative side effects that can come from using rice water on your hair. So if you don't rinse it out, maybe that extra starch in the on your hair could lead to gummy, harder to style hair. Um, you can have some irritation um, if you, you know, for instance, boiled in, or fermented your uh, rice water. But otherwise, it's a pretty safe solution. It's not really going to harm anything. And, and, and I guess the big question is, uh, once you make your rice water, um, I mean, can, can you still eat the rice? Um, it seems like an opportunity to multitask. You can eat the rice, but you can't complain if there's a, if there's a hair in your bowl. <laughs> It seems like that's a definite risk that you might run into with this process. <laughs> um, so now I've got this mixture of, I don't know if I'm hungry or I just want to go and like wash my hair again. So I'm kind of torn in between here. Uh, so before I make that decision and go one way or the other, um, do you have anything else you want to add regarding rice water or I guess any other kitchen products uh, you might be able to use on your head? Yeah, you know, rice water is going to be a safe solution if you want to try it. 
Uh, I'm gonna try to wash away my gray hairs with some coffee. So I'm heading to the leftover coffee pot. What, there's a whole new episode we can do. That's a, uh, it's gonna be hard for me to give up my coffee because I just drink it all, but um, <laughs> I, I'm willing to give it a shot. We'll have to have you back on to uh, tackle that question. A little cliffhanger for our listeners. See you next time, John. Thanks so much. Thanks, Dr. Vish. There's not a lot of research to back up using rice water to grow your hair, but it's hard to argue with centuries of long locks. So go for it if you want to give it a try. It might even give you a head start on meal prep for dinner. If you liked what you heard today, please hit the subscribe button and leave a comment to share your thoughts. Till next time, be well.